Reef DVM is coming at you with uh, an update on the barn and our horse stalls. Um, this is kind of a video that's been in process for, for several months now. Um, we installed soft stall for our horses. This has got a unique cover that's very bendable, very strong, um, very waterproof uh, on one side of it. And, you know, it, it comes with about a two inch, four by six uh, cushion of you know, kind of like a, like a recycled, condensed, high-density foam with then a backing on the back. It, it's just really a unique product. Um, you know, in the veterinary world, we've worked with a lot of different stall materials. And I, I know this video is going to get a little longer as I kind of show how it all goes together here, you know. Um, but as the product arrived, um, you know, on a pallet, the foam came on a pallet, the uh, mats came on big rolls. We started to move these into um, our stalls, and we were very happy to get this product. Um, you know, there's there's like basically like three different big stall kind of cushion things that are out there for horses these days. So basically, there's the soft stall which we're showing you today, which which we're endorsing. Then there's the kind of like therapeutic mattress, uh, or like uh, how do I want to say it, the big you know, um, you know, like, uh, temperpeutic foam mattress mat that you can put in the stall. And then there's the chunks of rubber that are in the kind of baggies that you lay these big baggies of chunks of rubber down. And then you slice open a couple baggies and you put the chunks of rubber all over the place. And then you put a mat over that. And I'm going to tell you that all three of these systems work as I'm unrolling these mats here so you can see them. Um, but there's advantages and disadvantages to them, and having worked with all three of these um, types of mats, I can tell you that this is this is my all-time favorite. First of all, these are 4x6 panels that are 2 inches thick, and it's a product that is really crushed, if you want to think about it, and, and got a lot of, of give to it. It's obviously waterproof, because it's a foam like this, um, and it's it's been crushed so much that it, it just gives you a lot of spring back, which is really nice. And it goes into place extremely easy. Um, now, granted, remember, we're putting it on a heated concrete floor surface, so this is the exact kind of product I wanted. Now, I certainly could have gone with, you know, the therapeutic, you know, tempur type piece of foam and put a mat over the top of that, but it's almost too squishy, folks. When you're on a hard surface like this, your horse is just you know, literally when you put the big drafts on it, just crush the crap out of that stuff. So I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, and then you could go with the chunked rubber. Well, I got to tell you, the chunked rubber really works well for the big drafts and the big horses. But what I don't like about it is, is that you can't get it completely level. And even if you put the, you know, bags and rip them open and put the chunks around the edges, after about three or four months, your top mat gets a little bit of sag and stretch because of where it isn't perfectly level. And that's where pee and urine and stuff like that tend to all just kind of sit. This stuff goes down absolutely completely flat if you've done your prep work. If you take your sand base or your gravel base or your concrete base and you compact it, level it, beat it into the ground and lay this, you know, high density like foam on top of this stuff, you're going to find uh, that these, you know, basically engineered closed celled cross link foam pieces of therapeutic pad will lay completely flat, which is great, which makes the waterproof top cover that, you know, has no latex in it, no allergy issues in it, just lay down absolutely fantastic. Here's the overhead shot of me putting one of these together in the stalls, and it, it just, it goes down really, really nicely. I, again, I'm not ripping on the crushed rubber people. If you've got, you know, the bags of filled with crushed recycled rubber and you've put it in and you've done a really good job and you've got your top cover, congrats to you. But again, it's just not been my favorite. Um, again, as the horses step on them, the top coats tend to, the top covers tend to stretch and find the, the more unlevel spots. And I'm just, that's just not for me. Um, as far as, like I said, the therapeutic, tempur type pad, which is one solid chunk of foam underneath, it's just too soft and squishy for the bigger horses. That's just what I'm finding. And it, of course, then it wears the top cover because they're really pushing it down. Um, so this was our choice. This is what we went with. So enough about talk about that. Let's talk about the install. Um, we have 12 by 12 stalls um, commercially made by Ram. 
Um, these are the portable stall systems, but we use them permanently. They are absolutely fantastic. They've been in the barn now since uh, September, October. Um, and the stall mat system has been in there since last November. Again, this, this video is a little late in coming out. But these things went in fantastic into these stalls. They went in nice and tight. They went in snug. They, they almost wanted to pucker a little bit in the middle because they were so tight. And we let that happen because as you put that heavy top mat back on top of these things, it just flattens that right out, which is fantastic. Now, as you can see in the picture, we've got the top mat sitting on top of the actual stalls. We did roll them out and try out fit them. Then we rolled them up and stuck them on top so we could drop them back in. When Soft Stall sends you these big um, top covers, these big, you know, pads, they've given you extra so that you can go up the sidewalls. And that was absolutely fantastic because then you have, you know, about six inches on each side that you can play with and you can cut and you can fit it to your doorway because in our situation, you know, we're, we're screwing this right down into the to the concrete on the front where they're walking through the doorway. So here's us laying down the mat, you know, and I'm doing this with a nine year old um, and, and a seven year old. So this is it's it's a little tricky at first to get the positioning right um, because of the way the, the way you want to lay it out, because obviously you want the rubber side up, not not the more felty side. You want your waterproof surface um, in contact with the horse hooves. Now. Also note, you know, th this stall system is meant so that you don't have to use any shavings if you don't want to, but we are going to use shavings. We're going to use an absorbent, very fine shaving that we can easily pick through um, to pick up, pick up the urine. But I have seen these in place without any um, shavings. But again, that's not how we're going to do it. We want the shavings to pick up the urine. We want to be able to control, control that. Since this is a solid top piece cover, there's no urine that leaks down anywhere, which is great. Now, granted, if you've got a mare, you know, and she pees up against the wall, obviously some will get into your wood stall wall. Um, but, you know, that's that's horse life. I get it. So we get this laid down. Um, I can honestly tell you that these things install. Um, the foam went in in about maybe 15 minutes in each stall. The top cover took us about oh, 20, 25 minutes to get laid in position and smoothed out. And then we let it sit for a while because it's a little colder right now. We wanted that thing to kind of lay down. Okay. And then we came back and screwed it in. And with the plastic strips and the screws, it took us about an hour. So I would say each stall was done in less than probably an hour and 45, hour and a half. So it's not a real taxing process to do this. However, we're putting it on concrete and we didn't have to do any floor prep work. Remember, if you're putting this on sand, if you're putting this on gravel, it's imperative that you level it, that you compact it, and you have a good solid base underneath because that's what makes this system set up great. Um, I can't stress that enough. I just, I absolutely love how this stuff goes down on concrete and I've seen it on sand and I've seen it on gravel. And when my clients have done the work to, to prep their stalls, to get them level and to get them the way they want, this goes down rock solid and lasts them for years. Um, another thing that I like about these kind of stall cushion kind of things like soft stall is that, you know, hey, let's say you get a pawing horse and it spends, you know, four hours a day just pawing the crap out of this thing. After a while, of course, they're going to wreck the top cover. All you got to do is unscrew it, replace it with a new top cover. Now, granted, you can do that with the crushed rubber system that's out there, too, and the therapeutic foam system that's out there. But that is definitely an advantage to these kind of stall mats is that they're repairable. Now, with that being said, think about taking apart, you know, um, uh, a stall wall board. This is this is the type of stall where the boards are slid in. If you ever have to take one of those apart, you don't ever have to worry about foam rubber, you know, falling out or recycled rubber coming out. That's what's nice when you take these apart. You unscrew a few of these plastic strips, you pull out the broken board, you stick it back in. There's no extra rubber, you know, falling all over the place like there is with the ones where you've cut up some of the rubber bags to fill in some of the cracks. Um, I used a one inch screw and I screwed them about every three and a half inches. And as you can see, it went really easy with the little plastic strips. And as it did that, it kind of pulls the material taut, which is very, very nice. Um, I screwed them right into the 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 two by um, six um, interlocking wood that we had used for the um, ram soft uh, ram stalls. So it just the process went in really great, folks. I've been really pleased with them. We've been using these with the horses in there since November, so it's been six months now, and I'll I'll show you how they've held up in six months. 
this is what it looked like right before trimming. You can see the extra. Um, it's a little creative how you got to do your corner. You got to kind of put a slit in your corner and overlap it a little bit to get your corner tight. But nothing that can't be done if you take a little bit of time in your cutting. Then you just take a razor blade and go across the top piece of plastic and just cut up the extra material. It's up against the wall nice and tight. Um, there's no, no distance or space where you can get shavings in between. I find that absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the horses, you know, obviously spill water, they spill food, they urinate in these things. And again, you just go in there, uh, we clean out our shavings and boom, we're done. Um, not a problem with these whatsoever. Um, as far as the actual, um, weight of the pads, they're pretty light. I think they're probably less than 10 pounds. I would say the mat is fairly heavy. Um, plan on using a little bit of help. It's probably anywhere between... I'm guessing maybe 75 pounds of weight to move a mat that's 12 by 12 around. And they do make them 10 by 10. Um, they've got them in 12 by 12. And they'll make a 10 by 12 for you too. So soft stalls, you know, pretty workable as, as to how they, you know, get you the product and what size you need for your stall. And again, we're putting these in with the RAM um, portable stalls. And, and these portable stalls, by the way, have held up just fantastic. I mean, we've got draft horses in these things, folks. And the horses have, you know, they've bumped them, they've hit them, we've had a kick or two, boards have not broken, things have held up well, the metal is great, the tracks are running absolutely smooth. I think we had one hiccup with a door spring, and within 48 hours, within 48 hours, Ram had sent us a new door spring, free of charge. That's why we use a product like Ram. So if you get a chance, um, call Veronica up at Ram, um, tell her you talk to Reef DVMs, uh, or watch their video online here. And you want to get information about, you know, the RAM stalls because I still can't speak highly enough. And now that we've put the soft stall inside the RAM stalls, I, I'm just impressed. So so here I'm going to take uh, Mr. B, one of our Arabs. I'm going to stand him on it before we put the shavings in just so you can kind of get a, a feel for how the mat holds up to, say, an 800-pound horse. You can see it puts a little bit of a, of a dent on the foam, but it doesn't sink in like those Tempur-Pedic type mattresses do. This therapeutic closed cell foam just does a fantastic job. And then what I'm going to basically do is what we like to do with this system, and we've been doing it for six months, is, is we bed this system. We, we bed it with sawdust, and it works fantastic. Because when you use a fine shaving sawdust that you can easily pick through, it's extremely absorbent. It grabs onto that urine right away and wicks it up so that there's no chance for a major odor concern. And, of course, it picks really nice. So with the soft stall system, I, I do still use some bedding. Now, do we use a lot of it? No, because once you get the original bedding down, all you got to do is just pick out the pee spots um, and the poop. It's, it's really not that bad. You're going to see a, a little bit of video here in a second. And now when I bring these horses in in the, in the second round and you're seeing them step in, I, I push some of the shavings away from the front so you can see them stepping on the mat. Of course, you know, Mr. B, my Arab, misses it and doesn't step where I want him to step. Um, but my, one of my big draft horses, Jewel, steps absolutely perfect as, as she goes into it. Um, and you can see it just, it's holding up really well. Now this is, this video here that you're looking at is shot six months later. This is not right after install. So this is, this is shot just like two days ago, and you can see how clean the shavings are staying, how easy it is to pick. The horses are doing well. The stalls are holding up. I mean, they just love this material. They 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 are just comfortable all day long on it. And as a veterinarian, this is what we want. This this is exactly what we want for our horses on a on a heated concrete floor type system like this. I can't speak highly enough about the soft stall system. After six months, folks, it's held up great. I hope you've enjoyed the install video of it. As a follow-up, again, six months into the RAM portable stalls and, and Veronica over there at RAM, she did a fantastic job. You get a chance, call her up. She'll help you through any of your decision-making processes with their stalls. It's been fantastic. Please like or subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this. We always thank you for your support, folks. Enjoy.